one side. It's a made out of rattlesnake hide. Got a brain of gin that baby built on top, and it's a made out of human skull. Come on, take a little walk with me, baby, and tell me who do you love? Yo, catfish. Some guy out back talking shit. Says he's looking for you. Might be trouble. Be alone. He's got a couple guys with him. Grease, mule. Fish, I don't want no trouble. Just keep it off the lot. What the hell? No, not hell. Well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> we are the Apocalypticos. What do you want? You don't remember me, do you, fish? Should I? Of course you should. You created the man you see before you now. July 2002. All I ever wanted was to be a part of your gang. But you, you said no. You said I lacked the cardiovascular endurance and the quad strength. Oh. Chicken leg Greg. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at me now, fish. Do I seem out of breath to you? Do I look at my legs? What's with the German accent? You're not German. It's a new age, my friend. You've had your day. We're taking a piece of the pie. Static Fury own this town. We're not taking a piece. I wouldn't even throw you my scraps. You do not want a war. Not with us. Look at your men. They are soft. How it's possible to be so out of shape is beyond me. <laughs> we will run you over. You want a war? You got one. Name your terms. Last man standing. Time? Three days from now. Place? Where else? Right here. We'll embarrass you on your own turf. Now when we defeat you, I expect you and your little boys to take whatever the hell those things are and leave this town. Of course. But I assure you, it will be you and your boys who will be doing the packing, not us. Yeah, now that's what I call a break. I told you not to mess with me. One of these days I'm gonna win this bar off of you. <laughs> See about that. What about this guy Greg from last night? What's his deal? Uh, he's just some wannabe. Some guy I pissed off a few years back.
You seem pretty serious. Are you worried? Worried? Some guy dresses up in short shorts acting like a teenager who's pissed off at his parents? No, I am not worried. Hmm. Hmm. What's hmm? Nothing, never mind. What? Do you think I should be worried? It's just... It's just what? It's just, when was the last time you actually had a look at your boys? What are you talking about? The boys are fine. I'm just saying maybe they're not in tip-top shape. Fine. Buddy break with Al Johnson and Joanne McLeod. I like to have a light, refreshing, nutritious snack. It's called Howl's Honeydew Delight. Oh, brother, not again, Hal. <laughs> what you do is you simply take a honeydew, slice it in half, then you take the pits out of the middle, and at the same time, Joanne is slicing up some strawberries to put in the delight, along with some grapes at the same time. I like to also use pineapples. Then you add some yogurt, which I always think is a nice special touch, a little treat for the day. Thanks. Fish. And sprinkle some ants. And there you have a light, refreshing... What are you doing, baby? Low and <sighs> nothing. Our tip today, nutrition is an important part of physical fitness. It doesn't look food like nothing. All four food groups will give you that balanced diet. What's this? So until next time, keep fit and have fun. Uh, ready to go? Yeah, that's good. Do you want to get a Yeah. You've been clean for two years, baby. I know. So what the hell are you thinking? It was just one time. Yeah. Right. I find that hard to believe. Where's the rest of it? Well, that's all of it. I got 100 Gs off Mule's boy. It's fine. No. It's not fine. Don't you remember what happened two years ago? The hell you put me through? For God's sake, look at what happened to Lance. Armstrong was on Roy's. It's just creatine. We can relax. Don't tell me to relax. Creatine is a gateway drug and you know it. I can handle the pasta, the egg whites, even the protein shakes, but I'm not going to do this. Not again. Hey, what about you? Hmm? Oh, omega-3s are so good for you. Horse shit. You pop more vitamins than my grandmother takes pills. Don't even get me started on your Thai bow face. Don't you dare turn this around on me, fish. It's not even remotely comparable. You need to stop this. You need to stop this now. I need it, okay? Just one more week and then I'm off. Why? Why do you need it so badly? Because I'm scared. Fuck. Is this about those apocalyptical guys? Never mind, you wouldn't understand. Well then tell me, what don't I understand? Well, you're weak. Chicken leg Greg was right. You're not weak. Mule was out of breath from using the ATM yesterday. Who breaks a sweat from entering their pin? We got lazy, we got too comfortable. I haven't been to a spin class in over a year. These men look up to me, and I am leading them into a slaughter. And you think this is going to help? It makes me feel strong. Confident. Like a man. Don't do it. Don't ride. Let's leave. Together. And do what exactly, Catherine? Hmm? Join some pussy-ass speed-walking gang? Briskly walk off into the sunset? Do you know me at all? We might lose. Yeah, we might lose bad, but I will not walk 
away. I will not jog. I will not run. I will stand my ground and I will sit down and I will ride. It's all I know. Fish. Do you remember when we first met? I was 16, you were what, 18? I was 10. You picked me up outside of Popeye's gym and you were wearing that, that old CCM jacket. We went for a ride, you remember? I had never seen anyone ride like that before. You had the tension maxed out. I held on tight around you and I could feel the BPM of your heart escalating as we went faster and faster. We didn't have anywhere to go. We just rode. I was a kid then, it's different now. No fish. You rode because you loved it. It wasn't about the turf wars or slinging counterfeit gym memberships. There was no creatine, we were just happy. I want that back fish, I want you back. People grow up, kid. They have a responsibility, these men. What about me? I stood by you after all these years. Doesn't that count for something? Where are you going? There's only one man that can help me now. I'm going for a ride. By the way, our first date, it wasn't the ride. It was you. You made my heart race. She's like the wind through my tree. She rides the night next to me. You know, I don't think I'll ever get used to the idea of you as a horse farmer. Son of a bitch. Easy boy. You look good, fish. Strong. You don't look too bad yourself, old man. How's the herd? Yeah, well, it's a quiet life, but they keep me occupied. There's a, there's a stillness to them, a peaceful. Majestic. Had to put Betsy down last fall. She broke a spring. Not much of a life for a horse with only three springs. I'm sorry. Yeah. She was old. 1920s is my best guess. So, what brings you out here, Fish? You didn't come all this way just to 
admire my horses. We're in trouble. There's a new gang in town, the, uh, Apocalypticals. This gang has you worried? I call for a war. Tonight, actually. It's last man standing. Uh, you've been to war before? That was just those thigh master pussies. Mm -hmm. It's different this time. The men are afraid. Hell, I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. I know I gotta step it up. I gotta tell my men we're gonna run right over, but I, uh... Well, I don't just... I don't know if we can win this time. Come with me. I want to show you something. RS-100? Richard Simmons' signature series. First edition. Only edition? Used to call it the Quad Crusher. They only made 200 of them. But I thought these were all recalled. Yeah. Back in 72, they started pulling them out of the gyms. Too many guys were throwing up from the intensity of the ride. It was a real mess. A few guys, myself included, caught wind and Managed to save a few out of the dumpster before they all ended up as scrap metal. Ruined Simmons' career. Why do you think he does aerobics? Yeah, well, that was the beginning of the end for me. You see, Fish, guys today, they, they forget what it was like. The smell of the oil on your chain. Thrill of seeing that needle climb to five kilometers an hour. We didn't have straps on our pedals. We didn't need them. Yeah, the seats were uncomfortable, but we liked it. Now, everything is ribbon-controlled tension, digital speedometers, fuel bands, fans, gel seats, calories, and internets. The world moves so goddamn fast that people forgot. Even you, Fish. What it truly means to be stationary. So that's why you left. Hmm. Riding is all about what's going on up here. Your mind's ability to tune out the pain and the fatigue. Take this bike, Fish. Get back to your roots. Free your mind of the distraction of all the fancy gadgets and allow yourself to focus. And trust your heart. I mean physically, trust your heart. Let's get to work.
Cat! Cat! And if this is something you really feel you need to do as a man, then I'm behind you. But there's just one thing I need you to do. Kick his fucking glutes. Where did you find that old fossil? Did Charles Atlas have a yard sale? <laughs> Let's ride. Riding is all about what's going on up here. Your mind's ability to tune out the pain and the fatigue. Get back to your roots. Free your mind of the distraction of all the fancy gadgets. And allow yourself to focus. And trust your heart. I mean physically, trust your heart.
Well, I'll be. Atta boy, fish. Atta boy. Yeah.